In the 1700s, African slaves brought many staples to the United States, specifically the South. Items like peanuts, okra, collard greens, and the benny seed, also known to many as a sesame seed. The history behind the benny wafer is the seeds were brought to this country by the Bantu tribe and planted outside of their huts. They came over in the boats and they planted them all along the coast and it was supposedly to bring them good luck and uh, that was the theory behind the whole thing and eventually they started to make a little thin wafer with sugar and, and the seeds and thus the it was born. In the 1940s, one Charleston bakery began making these sweet, buttery treats known as the Benny Wafer. The Ricks family bought the bakery along with the recipe in 1990. They continue making the wafers today. In fact, they make up to 500 pounds a day. And during our visit to the old colony bakery, we got to see the process firsthand. The process is primarily, the, primarily sugar, and the seeds uh, have to be toasted. Uh, to bring out the best flavor. Sometimes you don't toast them if you're making a savory one with, with Benny Seed, but uh, we toast the sesame and um, we use all natural ingredients and um, we do 100 pounds uh, at a shot. Uh, we can mix up to 300 pounds at a time, but we usually do a lots of 100. And then it's run through a drop machine and baked until they're crisp and um, dumped. Then they shake them and off of the papers and then they're bagged. The process we do um, is the most efficient for us. We have uh, very little breakage, very, very little loss, uh, and they, the end product is wonderful. It's, it's, it's very, very tasty, very tasty. People from all over call and order these southern delicacies. And the Ricks family will continue to keep this history alive for all to enjoy. Oh, I think it's very important. I think it's very important. It's part of, it's part of, the, uh, it's part of the southern history, part of the southern culture. Um, I think we need to carry it on. There's no reason not to. Every day, somebody calls us from a new area and wants them. So, and so it's not just here. It's all over the country. And uh, people love them. And I, I'm going to continue keeping it going. That's for sure. Me and my family.